Hey guys, how y'all doing? Air Projects here, or a um, legit kirk, if you can call me either, I don't mind. And we are playing COD 4 again. This isn't a live commentary this time, this is just um, me talking over the top of this thing. And this is Creek, one of my least favourite maps. It seems like every Call of Duty game that try and design a map based around sniping is always a real pain in the ass to snipe on. Um, so usually I wouldn't even snipe on this map, I would pick something like an MP5 and just keep um, rushing the spawn over and over again, but I saw I was on a 4 bar, I'm pretty sure I was, so that's the reason why I used a sniper, and um, and yeah, I pretty much only snipe when I'm on 4 bars on this game, because the hit detection is just, it's pretty damn shocking at times, so um, 4 bar f for me is pretty much an essential for when I'm sniping. Um, so, recently I've been preferring the Barrett over the M40. The M40 is good and all, but I kind of like the way the um, the way the way Barrett kind of scopes in. You have to swing your shot up a little bit. It's just it's just the kind of style I prefer. So, I get up to a bit of a slow start, but now I think I pick it up. Um, I notice that there's some little camper dude that I get a hit marker on, which is quite annoying. Pick up the MP5. Um, why? There was probably no need for that, but um, whatever. And guys, don't be afraid to hard scope. As you can see, I do like to hard scope, and I like to quick scope when I think I should be quick scoping. Because a lot of people seem to think, oh, he's hard scoping, he sucks. Which obviously isn't the case. As you can see, um, quick scoping obviously is a major, major help. It's definitely something you should know how to do. But it's not always essential, not always the thing you need to be doing. So I get my airstrike, drop it down in the place where I'm presuming they're all spawning. Um, who's talking to me on Skype right now? And God, this Skype spam is getting on my nerves. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, well, what was I saying? I don't, can you guys hear that? I really hope you can't hear that. It's just like, I, I, I'm not even going to try and imitate the Skype sound, it's going to be quite hard. Did I just say imitate? That's not what I mean. What do I mean? Um, damn, I can't think of the word. Is it imitate? No, it's not. I, I don't know, I'm really confused in my own words right now. I'm not sure where I'm really going with that, but... um. Yeah, COD 4, the best COD in my opinion. A lot of people argue COD 2 is. Um, a few people may argue Modern Warfare 2 is, but for that is... I mean, that's just a clear answer. I mean, Modern Warfare 2, I... Honestly, I place that above, above um, Black Ops now. And then I place World at War above... I think, I think I place every card above Black Ops. And that's just because I find Black Ops incredibly boring. I mean, mechanically, it's a very good game, like in terms of weapon balance, it's pretty good, almost faultless, in terms of perk balance, the perks are very tolerable, there's Ghost and there's Last Stand, which obviously could do with some adjusting, adjust, uh, adjusting but nothing compared to the scale of what, um, of what Modern Warfare 2 was. Uh, missed the collat there, quite unlucky. Um, and the kill streak balance, I think, is really good. I don't have a problem with the kill streaks in that game, since it's quite rare people who actually get them against me. That's not bossing, that's just because they're a lot harder to get for a lot of people. And the majority of people aren't as good as the minority of people. So, um, kind of. So it kind of makes kill streaks less of an annoyance. Um. But yeah, the reason why I play Modern Warfare 2 above Black Ops is just because Black Ops has the potential to be good, but it's it's just really, really boring. I mean, I don't know what it is that makes it so boring. I'm sure some of you know the answer to that. But for me, personally, I'm not too sure, because I think a lot of it comes down to using the sniper. And how... How, let's be honest, how crap the sniper is in that game, because it is. It's... Since the patch, it's obviously been a little bit easier to use, but it's still nothing like, nothing worth using really. I mean, it has no kind of advantage to what the other guns would, which is kind of pointless because the snipers are all about advantage. The whole point of using the sniper to get a better, 
advantage on your opponent in certain situations, but in Black Ops I feel like there's just no point. I mean, you can use M16s for long range, you can use the G11 even for long range and close range. It's kind of like the ultimate gun in my opinion. A lot of people say the 74 is the best. I disagree and I'd just say the G11 is easily better. Easily. But yeah, the 74U definitely needs a bit of a patch, so I hope they do that. Um, but, let's talk about this gameplay. Not that people really care about the gameplay. Um, but right now, I think I've got a chopper up in the air. And all I'm doing is just trying to work on their spawn. And do things such as that. Just kill people that seem to be trickling out of their little spawning positions. Um, so guys, I need I need some some of your opinions on this. I'm thinking about changing, not changing, but creating a new YouTube account. And the reason for that is not because of my lack of views, because obviously if I made a new YouTube account, if anything, I'd be getting less views, which would obviously be the obviously be the correct scenario. If I did that, I'd probably receive a couple hundred less views than this video would. And um, that doesn't really bother me anymore. The view count, of course, it's nice to have a big have a, a big view count but it doesn't bother me as much to demotivate me anymore I think I've kind of turned a new leaf in terms of um, in terms of what mo motivates me to make YouTube videos and now for me it's all about the comments and the feedback it's not about the count of anything the count of comments the count of likes the count of views it's all about what likes what views what comments um, so if I made a new account, it would mean I would have less inactive subscribers, and all my, all my, um, don't you call it, all my active subscribers, I suppose, all my true subscribers would, um, would get my full attention because it can be quite um, annoying at times when I see I've got 14,000, but then it's like, well, actually I've only got like a couple hundred, and you know, in the truth of the fact, so. It would be nice I can kind of put my attention towards the people I think really deserve it than those in inactive dudes. And I can actually see where I'm at with my subscriber base, which would be kind of cool. So, it actually seems like I've pretty much contradicted everything I said about I don't care about the count of things. Yeah, I'm talking about moving the channel so I can get a better view on the count of things. <laughs> but, I'm not sure if you understand exactly what I was trying to get at, but I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to get it, I want to change my channel because I want more views. I'm changing my channel because I want to see who is viewing a lot better than who I can know, if that makes any sense. Maybe I should have stopped talking about this because I'm not making any sense, but um... But right now, hit marker is very frustrating, um, and so is non reg, but what can you do? Absolutely nothing. What is it good for? Absolutely. Right, that's not even relevant. Um. I really don't want to talk about the gameplay, because I don't know who really cares about talking about COD 4 gameplay. The game's like, what, 4? 3 years old? I think it's like 4 years old now. Um, but still, nonetheless, the best Call of Duty game made. Like I was saying at the start about um, COD 2, a lot of people saying COD 2's the best. But I mean, really, COD 2, it's good for a couple of days, good to play with your friends, but there's really nothing in that game. I mean, there's so little that you can get out of that. And I think COD 4 for me, I mean COD 4 pretty much changed everything in FPS, in my opinion. I mean, look at everyone, everyone seems to be taking a leap out of Call of Duty's books in terms of kill streaks and perks and all of that stuff. I mean, look at Halo Reach. Um, personally, kind of disappointed Halo Reach took that direction. A lot of people loved Halo for its lack of Call of Duty style. So why it went that way, who knows, but um, anyway. I will see you guys another time. I'll keep you up to date with the YouTube account situation. And goodbye. Thanks for watching. Also, please like.